He played 13 years in the NFL, made seven trips to the Pro Bowl, and has a coveted Super Bowl championship ring. He's a legendary defensive tackle, an analyst for the NFL Network, and a pretty good dancer. Please welcome Warren Sapp. <laughs> a ton of fans here. So it's a big day for you. It's a big it day in the news. Peyton Manning getting dropped by the Colts. It's time. It is. is that, that's your reaction? Yes, because you have to look at him and the owner walking off the plane together, you know, traveling from Miami back to Indy and you know, have a press conference today. It should be pretty cool. Yeah, where do you think he's going to go? Who's going to mm. pick him up? You know what? I saw a Final Four, and it was the Dolphins, the Redskins, the Arizona Cardinals, and somebody else. But trust me, everybody's going to take a look at Peyton Manning. Is this a sad day or a good day for him? Both. Mm -hmm. because this is a chance for him to continue his career because the thing that he wanted to do was come back from his neck injury and show everybody that he was capable of playing the game. And mm -hmm. He's going to get that opportunity. And the Colts can sit back and look at all the wonderful years of 10 or more wins, all those wins in those decades, the championship that he did bring there, and the beautiful palace that they now call home. Well, it was trending today, Peyton Manning. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we, love, we love when we're at the epicenter of something that's such exactly. a big story we like Exactly. We definitely that. consider this one. And now another headline that's been huge, mm. the bounty system. Oh, is this a surprise to you? You know what? Redskins and the Saints, they're being paid <laughs> to basically hurt their players? I, am, I was ashamed to be a defender because uh -huh. my son's birthday was March 1st, so I took him fishing, him and his little buddy. So yeah. I was totally off the grid. So I'm getting back in the car and I'm driving back from Tampa to Orlando about 80 miles and I'm looking at my Twitter, you shop, you got paid. To... I'm like, what are they talking about? Yeah. I was ashamed to be a defender because I'm defending me, Brooks, Lynch, Simeon Rice, that championship ring team that you're talking about. I'm like, you couldn't walk in our room and offer us a thousand dollars for the quarterback. He was already going to get tasty. He was the dessert. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, the quarterback is always the prize. I don't need, and I really want to ask, Anybody that's a D coordinator that played the game, all those hours of watching tape, all those practice hours we spent out there on the football field, that's what you come up with at the end of the week? A thousand dollars? I mean, is that really it. worth it that I got much? A thousand dollars. Right? That's that much incentive. A room full of millionaires. A thousand dollars. Was this going on? No. When you, you no. weren't aware of any of this? 13 years that you just talked about. Yeah. Those seven trips to the Pro Bowl because when you go to the Pro Bowl, everybody comes together. Mm -hmm. And we don't keep secrets in this league. We talk about the quarterback's hands, you know, being to get off. You know when your quarterback opens his hands? Mm -hmm. Defensive lineman take off because the ball snap. Mm -hmm. There's a little secrets we share. There's no way we wouldn't talk about, you know, that hit you put on, how much you get for that. There's no way we wouldn't talk about it. And in my 13 years, it never happened. It was never discussed. And if you walked in our room and said that, I'd give you 20 grand to, to never come around us again. Because there's so much more to the game that I love yeah. than... Come on, I don't want to knock so you out. So why now? Why I don't is this want, all coming out now? You know, it was just it was just this one rogue D coordinator, as I'm understanding it, that this was his way of motivating his guys. Because if you look at his history and his resume, it says only, he's only had five top ten, deep, top five defenses mm -hmm. in his whole career, and he's been here since 1990. Mm -hmm. So where do you see, I guess, the NFL season going in 2012? And how has it changed since you've retired? It's going to be beautiful. Game. You know what? The game has really gotten wide open. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I call it sissified. <laughs> my, kid, my kids looked at me, Daddy, what is that word? I'm like, I'm sorry, kids. I, I, I got to find out. You know the way. But it's sissified. And I mean, the middle of the field is wide open. They're talking about going and finding new tight ends because the tight end is the new weapon. Mm -hmm. John Lynch controlled the middle of that field. And if you came across that middle, we would knock you out. And that is gone from the game now. People are becoming celebrities more than ever before. It's easier now. Oh, really? It's easier now because, you know, there's Twitter, there's Facebook, there's Google+, Plus, there's a bunch of different things that you can unite a whole army that, first of all, loves your football team. And then mm -hmm. if you play well, you know, we're crazy about our football. You, you strike a match and somebody's going to pull gas on it. I guarantee yeah. you. That's, that's a fire. Well, speaking of Twitter and social media, you've really taken to Ooh. all of that. <laughs> and, it, and is it true? Rich Eisen is going to be here in a few weeks. Ooh. He got you hooked. Is this true? Yeah, Rich Eisen got me hooked. I told Rich, I said, Rich, you got to be kidding me. Because when I first started, <laughs> I, had, I had my little S, you know, mm -hmm. the sap, you know, a little funky S, old school, funky, all letters, looking all cute. Rich said, put a picture up. I said, what do you mean? He's like, this is personal. These are your words to the people. Put a picture up. I said, okay. I put a picture up. 
I'm like, okay. So now I looked up at the top and I put yo and he sent it out. I'm like, what's up? Rich, like, what are you doing? I'm like, don't you supposed to jump, do something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make a sound, you know, like anything else. Rich was like, <laughs> he moved over and showed me the ads. I sat on the ads for the next two, three weeks. I didn't even look back at my time. I didn't know anything else except replying. That's why people always hit me all the time. You got 80 something thousand tweets out. I'm like, yeah, 90% of them are replies to you guys. I'm not just sitting here idly like, oh, woke up this morning, felt lovely, brushed my teeth, you know. No, that's not It's me. really all about connecting. It's all about going back and forth. Why is social media so important to you now? You know what, because for 13 years when I played, mm -hmm. there was a 10 foot wall behind me, 10 foot barricade and a 15 feet wall high. Mm -hmm. And it gave me that little, that was my sanctuary on the football field. Mm -hmm. But when I took those pads off, I was a father, a husband, and a dad, you know what I'm saying? So you have to be real delicate with how you cross that line. Now it gives me a chance where that line's never crossed. It's a beautiful thing. Oh. All right, we have one more question <laughs> from Stan Gill on Facebook. Ooh. Thank you. He asks, well, not really a question, but I want to see him dance with you. Hashtag oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Always back on the left. You ready? Okay, are we, are we going? Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> All right, you can follow Warren Sapp. More about him, QBKilla.com, and on Twitter, at QBKilla. You're a fabulous dancer. Shall Thank we dip? You. Now it's time for all of you to weigh in on this week's Like or Dislike. 